Hey guys, so for my costume, I'm going to start off with my makeup and I'm just going to prime my face with a professional from Benefit and I'm just going to put that all over my face. And now I'm going to use the Tarte BB Cream for my foundation, well, you know. And I'm going to take my stippling brush from Real Techniques and smooth that out all over my face and blend it in. And I'm just going to be doing my regular everyday makeup routine, except I'm going to be winging out my eyeliner. So the makeup part of the look isn't going to be the main part, but you can do whatever you want really. So I'm going to now be using the Boing Concealer from Benefit and hiding all the imperfections that may be showing. And now I'm going to powder and I'm using Rimmel powder. And I think it's called Stay Matte, and, but I'm not sure. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. And now it's eyeliner time. So sorry for the really weird camera angle, but it's really hard to put it on um, and get it in the camera frame at the same time. So first I'm just going to draw a line and then attempt to wing it out and get it in frame at the same time. So yeah. So basically I just draw a small triangle at the end of my lid and then I use a cotton uh, q-tip to make it the way I want it to look. And no, I'm not a professional so it's not perfect, but I try. And in the end it looks okay, so yeah. And now I'm just going to be curling my lashes and applying mascara. And my mascara is the waterproof one from Clinique. Oh, and I forgot to say that my eyeliner is from Sephora. So this is the finished makeup look. You can do red lips if you want, but I'm not um, going to. And now I'm going to move on to my hair. So I'm just going to brush it out since I have really um, thick curly hair and I get a lot of tangles. So I'm just going to brush it out. And now I'm going to be separating my bangs from my hair. And you don't; these don't necessarily have to be your like the bangs that you know that you have. But just play around with it until you think you have enough hair to make a roll. So I'm just going to be putting my, the rest of my hair in a bun to get it out of my face. And now I'm going to be making our victory roll. So I'm going to be taking a makeup brush. And I'm sorry that you can't see this part. I didn't know that it wasn't in frame. But I'm wrapping the hair around the makeup brush and then spinning it upwards. And I'm adjusting it as I go to make sure it doesn't fall out. And then you're going to bobby pin the heck out of it. And after a few bobby pins, you should be able to take your hands off of it. I'd say around four, you should be able to take your hands off. And then after a few more, you should be able to remove the brush and then just keep adding it until it's as sturdy as you need it to be. And then of course, when you're done with that, you can always hairspray it to make it even more secure. And then if you have some flyaways, just try to tuck it behind the roll. I also showed you guys how to do this in another one of my videos. So if you want a more in-depth description on how to do this, I will link the video in the description below. So now that I'm done with my victory roll, I'm going to put my hair in a high ponytail and I'm going to just brush it out again and I'm going to make sure I don't have any bumps in my ponytail and yeah, just like you would any regular high pony.
and again I'm not a professional at this so don't think that I'm a pro I'm just trying to show you guys a look that I'm going to be wearing for Halloween and yeah that's the hair done so now I'm going to be putting a bandana in my hair and this is just one that I've had for a while I don't really know where it's from and I'm just going to be tying it up like you would any regular bandana and I don't think that the look would be complete without one so that's why I like to do that And now my hair is done. So the first look I'm showing you guys is more of a rockabilly outfit. The fake varsity jacket is from Delia's. The leggings are from Forever 21. The black shirt is just a long black shirt that I found in my closet and my shoes are Vans. So the second look is more of the iconic 50 girls look with the poodle skirt. My mom actually made the poodle skirt herself when she was being a 50 girls for her Halloween. So if you really wanted to find one, you might be able to find one in a thrift shop. And I'm wearing the same long sleeve as I was in the last outfit and the same Vans. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Bye!